Uh, what up, my dudes? Coming on today with the channel is Louis Vlogs. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. I don't remember what shirt color I wore last vlog, but that's the least of my problems. So we're moving on to the Miata, which is the next step off the list, which we think it is this bad boy right here, which is the sorry about the wind, my dudes, which is the um, clutch reservoir. We think that's the next issue we're having issues with for the transmission, for the gears that are not going in and they're wearing out over time. So we have the same thing. I didn't put this back 100 percent yet, my dude, because I don't know if we're going to drop the transmission again. So, so I just left it like that. Um, I'll make it look pretty later, but that's the next step for this we don't want to we're taking off xing off checking off the boxes of the small things before we dive into the big expensive thing which is drop the transmission again and check the gears which we, we think it is the issue but we don't want to say that it is and personally i do not want to do that at all i bought this part from uh, i'm trying to remember i think from flying miata but i bought the part and i'll put the link down below i believe some flying miata Put the link down below my dudes you guys want to buy this to upgrade your miatas or a new one if you guys have it cracked or leaking or whatnot but yeah so we're gonna install that and hopefully that is the issue to get the miata back on the road because this car is giving me problems my dudes i just want to get it back on the road because it's holding me back from the build that we have going on with the channel with it so let me open this up show you guys and we'll install it so opening the box up my dudes is where we have the same thing i just showed you guys in the picture except this one's prettier and we're gonna swap it out and so hopefully this is it this is the issue uh, i'm sure you guys how to do it step by step more or less to get this part off from this one right here so let's see see how it goes this is a new one my dad's here helping me out like always my dude it's easier for me to vlog and talk at the same time so take off this we have two bolts you guys can see one right there and the other one right there and then we gotta take off this line right here and then that should pop out and then from there We'll just take this off first and then we'll see what the next step is. So I took it off my dudes is right there. And we also took off the clutch line, which my dad has right there. So we took that off too. The reason why we're taking off the clutch line, that was, if you guys remember, it was up here. It was like, it was like this one, but it was on top of here. The reason we're taking it off, we're gonna get the air compressor and we're gonna throw some air into it. I'm gonna get further away so you guys wanna hear that noise. We're gonna get the air compressor. We're gonna toss in some air to get all, see if it's clogged up, um, which is gunk, skunk, whatever it's in there, like the clog does not get enough fluid in. So we're gonna send that thing out. Just hopefully that is the issue. That's what we're gonna do next. So after we put the air through the hose, it did pop out. If you guys don't have an air compressor, uh, my dad also used brake cleaner to make sure it functioned all the way through. Or you can also buy the, the cans that have air in them already. You guys can use that as well. And it, Checked out to be A-OK, -okay. it popped out, the liquid came through, everything checked out to be good. So now we're gonna just gonna install it and hopefully that this new one actually does work. All right, my dude, so we did the line check, the line check came out good. We put everything back on. I right, put the line back on, we put the new piece back on. See how the line connects from right here, my dude, that we took off. That's back on to over there, you guys can see. So everything's good. Uh, See, it goes back into right here, my dudes, from this side. We put them back in. So I guess now we do a little test. We do a little test. Well, we're gonna fill it up and bleed it. What we're we gonna fill it up with? Liquid. So we're gonna we're gonna fill it up with brake fluid, and then we're gonna do a couple of pumps, and then what came us? That's it. And bleed it. and bleed it. Make sure, Make sure there's no extra air in the hose system or in the line. And then after that, we'll see if this is the issue for the clutch. Now I fill it up. Now I'm going to bleed the clutch. So now I got to be inside of the vehicle. We've done this many times before. I pop the clutch. Why my dad's over there bleeding out. And so he just, what he does is unloose. I'll show you guys here in a bit, but I'm just going to be pumping. He tells me to pump. Pump and hold. Run it down. Basically, that's what I've been doing repetition. Way down there, my dudes. It's kind of dark. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll zoom in. Come on, come on. Right there. That's the one. The one that looks like a little nipple hose. Oh, you can't see it. Why is it not focusing? No, I can't get it. 
I can't get it. Uh, it's too, it's too, it's too dark. We don't have that much light. I'm sorry, my dudes, but it looks like so. It kind of looks like this, but smaller. Something like this that pops up like this, and my dad just unscrews it. I can't mess with this because it's my my coil over. So it kind of looks like this, but smaller. And he just unscrews it so all the pressure can come out. And then he sees liquid, he ties it up again. That's what he basically does where I'm pumping it. All right, so we're gonna do a little. A little trip to see if it runs good. Okay, a little test drive, my dudes. I went around the block. My dad just waited here just in case my car died so I can call him. He can pick me up in the Envoy. It runs now. It works now. My gears actually stay put when I'm going to reverse and I want to go to first without moving my foot off the clutch. It actually does that. It says I haven't driven in a long time, so the clutch is new to me. And also the short shifter is new to me so it's like relearning how to drive this car out over again because everything is different now the clutch is different now the short shifter the gears are just like right there it's different now so i have to relearn how to drive this car funny how it sounds but i'll get used to it but besides that i think that was the issue was this bad boy right here the the clutch reservoir now that thing has like an internal linking so the air was pressure or whatever wasn't cycling through that's why the clutch would give out that just saved me a lot of money and taking it to a shop because most likely take it to a shop the first thing they would do is drop the transmission and check the transmission instead of doing small little things like that so i'm grateful that i actually took baby steps i wasn't i was impatient to take it to a shop but besides that we're gonna go for another test drive but the miata hopefully this is the, the problem solve for the miata then i can fix all this because all this i just threw in there but it feels weird like it's just screaming so loud like right here um, you guys, I can't take you guys with me because I'm trying to shift and gears at the same time, but I'm taking my dad with me and then I'll tell you guys what he thinks about it. So I went to a test drive with my dad. I know why he's making so much noise. It's because when I had, when I did the short shifter, which is this, I didn't put it everything right down, like, because there's like a little black rubber thing. I didn't put it down. I just threw it in there. So that's why I'm making so much noise. I can hear all the road noise is from that. But the issue is when we're driving back from the test drive, um i was up right here the driveway and the car just died again and the funny story is that the car died but my foot was all the way down to first gear so it just completely died so it didn't it didn't work anymore because the car when i was driving the test drive my the foot of the clutch kept on getting looser and looser and looser so now we're looking at it again and it just died when we made it back to the house on the driveway so i did a couple of runs a couple of shifts but besides that it just gave out. All right, my dudes. So my dad found the issue. So when you follow this line, this is the line we took off that goes to the to the clutch reservoir. We took off right now. It connects right here to go to this rubber piece because this rubber piece folds in. So we we're following it, and my dad made the observation right there, my dudes. When it connects, oh, you have no, we have no light right there. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Oh, right there, beautiful shot. So right there, my dudes, it's leaking. Every time we pop the clutch, a whole bunch of fluid just comes off. We did not see that. We did not catch that until right now. So I have to order this rubber hose right here. The Yeah, my dad says the flex hose. I need to order that, and that will probably solve my issue with the clutch. That's what's going on. But my dad said we never saw that. We never caught that. And we were always working right here. Because there's that nipple my dad does to bleed the clutch. We were all right here all the time. And we didn't see until right now we saw it. Hopefully that's the issue. Because when you pop the clutch, a whole bunch of liquid just gushes out. Like it's not, like it's it's torn up. Like it's torn. So I got to order that new part. But we saw the problem of that. So thankfully. And then the Miata still runs. Everything's good. This was flojo. My dad said this was loose. That's why the engine was shaking too much. So we solved that issue as well. But that's the main issue was that clutch. But now we know the problem. I need to order a new hose. Awesome. All right, my dude. So that's it. That's going to end the vlog here. We're, we're back on track with the Miata. Once I order that part, so now we can do just do upgrades to it. Like we've been doing. There was a minor setback. I was actually at the point of just selling the Miata and just buying a completely new car and starting over. But my dad was just like, no, no, let's, let's finish this, finish this build. And I was going to give up. And I was going to jump into the truck and start doing all these crazy modifications to the truck. But anyway, it is. I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace out, my dudes.